Well, here's a behind the scenes from the studio of how I used the streaming bridge in my lighting green screen video that just went live. Actually, it was a live stream Tuesday in October. This is how I wired my um, streaming bridge using my A10 Mini Pro to broadcast to it and bring it here in the studio. Let's go take a look at how that works. Okay, this is the behind the scenes of how I <clears throat> did my green screen lighting video. So I had to stream from my garage to my ATEM streaming bridge and it is plugged into this Unify switch. Um, and that HDMI cable right there goes into my Extreme ISO channel three. And then that came in right here from the garage and then that's that HDMI right there. So one, two, three. Then the streaming bridge comes into the network right here. And um, it's this gray cable right here that goes down along the floor, down through the hallway down through here, around the closet, behind here, comes across the floor, under here, around the corner, into the garage, across the floor, under the car, around through here, not knock that over and right there into the back of my ATEM Extreme Pro. Here is a look at the behind the scenes setup. All the sound blankets on a ladder, on some chairs, on some light stands, on a C stand. And there's light, green screen light one, green screen light two. And these again are the Photo Deox LED 200 watt 56s. And there's obviously two of those with a round one layer diffusion. And then I had two MC lights. They're not right here right now. I had those on here. That's my monitor, my iPad. And then you can see I had one camera right there there's another light, and then here is my main key light. Switch these on. One, two, three. And then here's the setup with everything lit up. Obviously sandbags on everything to keep things from tipping over. And that is another, the Photo Deox LED 200 watt 56s. One camera and then the HDMI out going to this monitor and it could be switched to multi-view. That is a still image right there. You can see I have still on. Now I switch to the camera and now you have the camera with me on the green screen so you can see what i was seeing right there now we'll go back in the main studio and show you what's going on in there okay i'm now back in the studio and there is what's coming on the streaming bridge through eos r's channel one that's my sky cam in the studio this is my main camera which is right there sky cam right there and then that is the ATA Mini Pro coming in the streaming bridge and then my PC and I can switch between my PC and my laptop right there. And that will change to my laptop. So I can go PC or laptop right here. Here is my laptop. Here is my PC. So switch over right here. Let's back up so you guys can see this. 
we're going to switch over to the ATEM Mini Pro. Connect. There it is. And I will go full screen on that so that you guys can see it. And now I'm just going to drop different still images in the background. And you can watch the key go over top of Galaxy Edge. You can go over top of the green screen. You can bring him into that background I used in the live stream. Bring him into my old studio <laughs> with Joe playing on the drums. Surfing background into the showroom. Shopping for RVs. Um, just put my logo there in a black background for actually it becomes white when you use that. Put him right back in the studio with me. And he is right sitting pretty much where I'm sitting. So if I rotate around, he's sitting right here where I'm sitting. And then if I have it full screen, I have that big monitor as well as I can switch back to multi view. And now he's just in the multi view. And again, that's using the streaming bridge. Normally my A10 Mini Pro sits right here. Um, and I use it for lots of inputs, but it's in the garage right now, and I'm only using my Extreme ISO video. So, that's it for this short little video. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of how I'm using my streaming bridge. Um, I am Keith. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you guys in the next video. We've got Batman set up. To be able to do a green screen you can see him up there in front of me and then here he is keyed in it looks like i'm sitting in my other studio with batman in front of me and then also here are the mc lights on this little dual stand right there and they're on a manfrotto friction arm and I have the camera bracket off right now, so I can add this bracket on right here. And that's a little bit more behind the scenes. And then there's a look at what I was seeing when I was live streaming and then mix effects. And then here is the green screen off and green screen on macro and this is mix effects so i can go into switcher view i can go into audio view i can go into macros i can go into media those are the different backgrounds i can go into transitions um, upstream keys so i can actually adjust this key right now because there's only one key on the a10 mini pro i said extreme when i walked back here it's actually the a10 mini pro and um, so I can adjust the settings right here. So when I did the flying key effect, that's all the way down in mix effects down here past all the color. I can enable mask or enable flying key. And that's what I was doing. And you can watch Batman as I hit these go around the screen. And then if I wanted to, I could just shrink him down, unlock right there. And then I could shrink Batman down and pull us down here on the bottom of the screen. And I could do the peak thing as well by just moving this up and down with my finger if I wanted to. It's one of the cool things about mix effects. And if I just go up and turn enable flying key off, watch what happens to the screen. I go back to full size. So again, mix effects is a great tool. I got camera controls, color generators, downstream keys, auxiliaries, outputs. I can go into settings um, and I could go to another switcher if I wanted to. Um, so right now this is on the A10 Mini Pro, but I could switch over to the Extreme. Um, if I wanted to. So that's a look at 
behind the scenes with mix effects right there.